everyone so this is a video on some of the insurance calculations for junior cycle business this particular video will look at average clause house insurance without the loading house insurance with a loading car insurance and life insurance so i'm going to start with average clause first and quickly i'm just going to introduce what average clause is as part of your revision so it's a condition included in insurance policies that limits the value of a claim if you are underinsured and it always relates to the insurance principle indemnity because that principle states that you cannot make a profit from insurance so to calculate average clause we'll use the formula sum insured divided by the true value multiplied by the loss so this is an example question your house is worth 300,000 euro but you only insure it for 200,000 euro which is essentially two-thirds of its value there is a fire which causes 60,000 euro worth of damage so how you do the solution to this question is you always start with your formula first which is sum insured divided by true value multiplied by loss so how much we've insured it for first is 200,000 so that's our sum insured the true value is the true value of the property which is 300,000 and the damage to the house, the fire caused 60,000 euro worth of damage. So we're multiplying that by 60,000 euro. So if you put into the calculator 200,000 divided by 300,000 multiplied by 60,000, you'll get an answer of 40,000 euro, which is the compensation due to you. Remember, because you didn't insure the property for its full value, the insurance company will not pay you out the full amount in compensation. Otherwise, you would have made a profit from insurance. The next question now is a house insurance calculation. Uh, we're going to do this first one without the loading. So remember, the loading increases the cost of the premium. So it's not a good thing for us as consumers because we have to pay more. So in this particular question, we've got Billie Eilish, and she wants to insure her house and her contents. So her house is valued at four hundred thousand euro, and the contents, the things inside the house, like the furniture, the TVs, etc., uh, it's going to uh, they're valued sorry at forty thousand euro. So she has a burglar alarm and is a member of a community alert scheme. The question tells us on the fifteenth of November she has the following quotation from Property Insurance Ltd. To insure her buildings, it's ten euro per forty thousand euro. To insure her contents, is five euro per two thousand euro. The alarm and the community alert scheme—they're both ten percent discounts. So discounts are good for us. So how we do this question is we look at the buildings or the house first, and this question tells us that the house is valued at four hundred thousand euro. And the uh, insurance company tell us, okay, so for every 40,000 euro that the house is worth, it's going to cost 10 euro to insure it. So what you need to do there is you need to find out how many 40,000 are in the 400,000. So 400,000 divided by 40,000 multiplied by well, how much the insurance company tells us it will cost to insure it. So there's 10 40,000s and 400,000, so 10 by 10 euro, which means for buildings or for the house, it's going to co uh, cost Billy Eilish 100 euro to insure it. You do the same thing for the contents. You look at the workings that are given to us. So the contents is 5 euro per 2,000 uh, euro to insure. So you say 40,000 euro at the value of the contents divided by 2,000 multiply by 5 euro. In other words, you need to find out how many 2,000s are in 40,000 and multiply it by 5 euro. So 40,000 divided by 2,000 multiplied by 5 euro is 20 by 5, which is 100 euro. So to ensure her buildings and her contents, the total amount will cost uh, Billy Irish 200 euro. So you just add the two numbers together. We know as consumers that if we have a discount, if we walk into a shop and see a discount, we'll always take that away from the price. So discounts are good for us. So she is a member of a community alert scheme, like a neighborhood watch, that 10%. And she also has an alarm on the property, that's another 10%. So our two discounts in total is 20%, 10% plus 10%. So you get 20% of the 200 euro it's going to cost her. And with a discount, you take it away, which means in this question, it's 200 euro minus 40 euro. So it's 160 euro of a premium due for uh, Billy Eilish to insure her house and contents. The next question I'm going to look at includes a loading. So loading is going to increase the cost of the premium. And for us as consumers, that's a bad thing because it's going to mean that we have to pay more. So you'll see here, Paul Pogba wants to insure his house and contents. The house is valued at 800,000 euro and the things inside the house, the contents are valued at 130,000 euro. His house does have an alarm, but is also in an area at risk of flooding. So that for us would be a loading. And for Paul in this particular question, it is a loading because it's going to increase the cost of the premium. We have a uh, similar kind of information from the insurance company to the last question on Billy Eilish. So for, to insure his house or his building, it's going to cost him 20 euro for every 20,000 euro the uh, building is worth. For the contents, it's 2 euro per 1,000. He has the discount of 10%, but this question contains a loading. So the loading in this question is 20%. So the first steps are more or less the same. You go to the buildings, look at the value of the buildings, which is 800,000. 
you see it's 20 euro per 20,000. So you need to find out how many 20,000s are in 800,000 and multiply it by 20 euro. So you can see we did that there and we got 800 euro. And for the contents, you do the same. The contents are worth 130,000 euros. So you need to find out how many 1,000s are in 130,000 and multiply it by 2 euro. So 130 by 2, as you can see, is 260. And like the last question, you just add them together. Now, this is slightly different because you will always do the loading first. So the loading is going to increase the cost of the premium. And in this particular question, Paul Pogba's loading is 20%. So we have our new figure of 1,060 when we added the buildings and the contents together. However, the 20% loading has to be added on top of that 1,060. So you need to get 20% of the 1,060, which is 212 euro, and then you add the loading on. So 1060 plus the 212 euro that we found means that Paul will now have to pay 1272, including his loading. He does, however, have an alarm. So now the discount applies. So you take the discount away in this step. So the new 1,272 euro, that figure with the loading, there's 10% of that, which is 127.20. So 1,272 minus his 10% discount of 127.20 means Paul Pogba's premium for this particular question is 1,144 euro and 80 cent. Now I'm gonna move on to a car insurance calculation question next. And this is for Sadio Mane. So he's 28 and wants to insure his car. His car is worth 50,000 euro. He has fully comprehensive insurance. Remember, that's the most expensive insurance policy for cars that there is because it insures everyone. So he receives the following quotation. The basic premium is 50 euro for every 2,000 euro the car is worth. There's going to be a 500 euro charge for being fully comprehensive. He has a 10% loading as he drives long distances regularly. And there's a 30% no claims discount. So this is how we do the workings to this particular question. So the first thing you do is you calculate the premium. So everything in the question is going to be the information that you use. So what you do there is you need to find out how much it's going to cost Paul to insure, or sorry, Sadio in this particular question, sorry, to insure his car. So his car is worth 50,000 euro. And the question tells us that for uh, every 2,000 euro it's worth, it will charge him 50 euro. So you need to find out how many 2,000s are in 50,000 and multiply it by 50 euro. So 50,000 divided by 2,000, multiply by 50, so there's 25, 2,000 and 50,000, and we multiply it by the 50 euro, which means it's gonna cost Sadio Mane 1250 to insure his car with this company. Next, we gotta add on our fully comprehensive charge, uh, which is 500 euro, so 1250, plus 500 euro, which means it's gonna cost Sadio Mane 1750 to insure his car with this company. Now, again, you do the loading first. So he has a 10% loading because he's driving long distances regularly, similar to what taxi drivers generally have when they're getting car insurance. They use the cars an awful lot more. So you always do the loading before you do the discount. So 1750 over 10% is 175. So we add the loading on to our already uh, existing uh, premium of 1750. So 1750 plus 175 equals his new premium of 1925. However, lastly, he does have a 30% no, no claims discount. Perhaps he's had no accidents before. So 1925, his new 1925 multiplied by 30% is 577.50. So 1925 minus 577.50, which means in this particular question, Sadio Mane's premium due is 1347.50. Now, the last question to look at is a life insurance calculation. Jose Mourinho, he wants to take out health insurance. He is uh, 57, but has no history of illness. He wants to get a life insurance policy for himself and receive the following quotation. So the premium is going to be 50 euro for every year of his age. There is a loading for uh, being older, so 30% loading for that, but he does have a no claims discount of 20%. Okay, so this is very much linked to like health insurance calculations, things like that. So the first thing you do, guys, is you calculate the premium. So 57, he's 57 years of age, and it's 50 euro per year of his life. So 57 by 50 is at 2850. Remember, you always do the loading first. So he has a 30% loading for being older. So 2850 over 30% is 855, and we always add on the loading. So 2850 plus 855 is 3,705 euro. He does have a discount 
of 20%. Perhaps he's never claimed anything on his uh, insurance policies before. So 375 over 20% is 741. So you always take away the discount. 3705 minus 741, which means that for this particular question, uh, to take out this policy, it will cost Jose Mourinho 2,964 euro. So that was just a quick video taking you through some of the uh, calculations and workings for a junior cycle insurance question. Uh, the average clause, house insurance uh, without a loading, house insurance with a loading, car insurance and finally a life insurance or a health insurance calculation question.